Hello everybody, I'm Dean McCrowston and I would like to share with you why I joined the National Colored Congress. In 2020, I came across a video of our President Fadil Adams. Um, we was uh, with the Khatfu Kryptonian movement and they were actually fighting at the Labor Department because out of all the positions that went out, not a single colored got work. And you know, as a youngster growing up, going um, out of school into, you know, the adult life that you need to look for a job, it was quite hard looking for work. Because within South Africa, uh, there was no equal opportunity. And this was always something on my mind that why isn't our voice heard? Us as kind of people. And when I show, saw that video, I was like, wow, this is the guy. I would like to follow. I started following him on Facebook, yeah, on Facebook, and you know, I started watching uh, his movements and the things that he was busy with. Um, a man that was standing up for us as kind of people, and I really admired what he was doing because it gave me hope again. It was not long after that, about yeah, it was not long after that when um, I found out that they have established a political wing, wing which was called the Cape Colored Congress and I started following this movement and I told myself, no, yeah, I want to be involved. Contacted somebody on uh, Facebook and the rest is history and I've been here since March, February, March 2021 and people, let me tell you that the NCC is is a party like no other. The NCC is here to fight for the colored child, but not to say that we are here to fight for the colored child and the other, all other races should not benefit. We are here for equality, for due process. We are here for fairness. So I'm going to encourage somebody out there that has when we double mind, want to join, don't want to join. I'm going to tell them, come join the CCC family. Take this step with us in making history. With you, we can do so much greater things. Together, we can conquer this inequality that we have experienced for years. When I speak about inequality, I'm talking about the housing way back. We have been left out of the system. Talking about job opportunities. We are not black enough to get those jobs. I want to encourage you to come fight with us for those pensions, pensioners that's on chronic medication where the water has been put off. People if you are tired of the conditions that we live in, I want to encourage you to come and join us in this fight for, for equality.